Hello and welcome to this computer programming tutorial about Pascal. Pascal is an imperative and procedural computer programming language designed in the late 60s by Nicholas Wirth. It was meant to be a small and efficient language intended to encourage good programming practices using structured programming. The IDE I've chosen for this tutorial is a free one. It's a GNU compiler for various operating systems. There is a version for Mac and I think Linux, uh, but the by far the most popular operating system is Windows, so that's the one I'm going to be demonstrating here. It runs without emulation, just straight off the operating system, and the binaries it generates are native Win32 binaries that appear in console windows, or at least the the ones I've produced have been in con console windows. So here's the interface. It looks like a console program, but it interacts with the mouse. So um, here's the address where you can get free Pascal. It's www.freepascal.org. This tutorial is going to start by showing you a few examples because it's important to pra practice at programming in order to be good at it. I mean, it's one thing to watch a tutorial and it's another thing to actually go and type in the programs yourself because you'll probably learn much more from actually doing the uh, the practice. The first program I I'm going to demonstrate here is uh, an output program. It, all it does is output to the console. Okay, so f for those of you who are new to Pascal, which I'm assuming is all of you, you might even be new to computer programming, but chances are you've had a shot at BASIC or Java or C++ in Pascal, right line would be like uh, C out in C++ and read line would be like C in. In basic it's write line would be print and read line would be input. The structure of this program is the name, the body which begins and ends with begin and end to form blocks of code. That's why they call it a structured programming language. Write line is the keyword. The expression is between the parenthesis and the delimiters are the single quotation marks with hello world between them which is the thing to be put onto the screen. Uh, Pascal instructions end with a semicolon and read line all that does is wait for a key to be pressed and it's another instruction so it needs a semicolon of its own. So we'll say save uh, compile. So the compile was successful. It, all that does is what it does is it takes your uh, code and then turns it into a binary which the computer can natively understand. So run and all it does is output hello world onto the screen. I'll press enter. And it's sort of like a word processor, you can select that and clear it and we're gonna, the next example is gonna be a maths one so 
it's meant to show the use of variables. Variables are declared with VAR, the identifier which you'd like to use. the type of variable that it is, in this case it's an integer, Okay, so at the top here we've got the name of the program, the variable that we're using, some output to the screen, input, and then a right line with an expression of their variable times their variable plus press enter, and then a read line so the window doesn't disappear before they can read the output. So compile run uh, 40 which is 1600 but to demonstrate that it's variable I'll run it again 32 is 1024 now to show you that uh, Pascal is procedural. I'll demonstrate a simple procedure. Okay, so at the top is the, the name of the program. The procedure gets skipped initially because this is the body down here and this is where the, the Pascal compiler looks for the first part to be executed. It sends them over to example which is up here. This gets printed onto the screen and then control of the program returns back to this line here which is a read line statement that they can press the enter key. So all it does is says uh, bin here, press enter, because it sent them to the procedure and then it came down here when they wanted to press enter this is a program that I've typed in ahead of time 
to save uh, typing at the remarks or comments are within curly braces with something like uh, basic you would it's the equivalent of REM or uh, or quotation mark I think is another one in C++ it's uh, two forward slashes and then there's the name the declarations so a real is a floating point number and a string is a combination of letters It begins up here, ask them for numbers. Um, with this, this if here, that's a conditional statement. So if this condition is true, then halt. Halt is the equivalent of in basic end or in C or C++ return zero. And there's the operators, it's a trigonometric trick uh, calculator so it does uh, a few extra functions here for these uh, operators here there's different results that their numerator plus their denominator and that's how that works there so we'll see it running um, 64 square root is 8 see 8 with this uh, right here this is scientific notation so with the plus if it was 80 this would be 1 on the right hand of the plus here but this side would be unchanged because like I'll, I'll just show you 40 plus 40 is uh, 8 plus 1 so that's 80 so you move the decimal place once to the right and it that's how the scientific notation works. Uh, I'll test out the trigonometry. 45 cos um, 45, 45 degrees cos and sine should equal the same thing but because of the way I've defined pi I think that it might not be exactly the same uh, in terms of the fraction. I'll quickly show you another program here. Arithmetic Questioner. Okay, so this is an educational program. It's a very vanilla maths, maths quiz program. I don't know why I called it an arithmetic question or anyway. So there's the, the name, the variables, they're all integers. And then it goes through and asks them questions. And there's random numbers. So it asks them a variety of questions and then it tests whether or not they're correct or not and provides feedback so I'll run it Five times six is thirty. Get this one wrong, forty five, twenty eight. Get another one wrong, we'll say it's three. 
and uh, that is 22. So, if I ch I can change it around though, like uh, here's the executable it produced. Um, we'll say 10 and uh, 4 and it should ask really easy questions like 9, 3, 8, 6, we'll get this one wrong, 600, no it's 10. Okay so that's all I was going to show you for this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and that you learnt something and thanks for watching.